I was on um, pretty much the beginning of the Bay Bridge, um, like the middle where the incline is, kind of like this, at an angle, and um, traffic was at a stop. And I was at a stop as well. And as I look my rear view mirror, I see this red and so silver, huge 18 wheeler truck come f flying. And by the second blink, I said to myself, is he gonna slow down? And by the third blink, he hit, he had hit me. And um, everything in my car just exploded. Airbags went everywhere. Glass went everywhere. The front windshield broke. Um, my driver's side windshield was shattered. And I immediately felt that I went exactly on an incline to the right-hand side of the wall. And I was saying to myself, if I can just stay on this bridge, I was going to be okay. If I can just stay on the bridge and not go off, because I knew when traffic was at a stop, how close I was to the edge. I mean, you can see the water even though you're, you're sitting in traffic. So um, to even feel me, to even feel my car on an incline after getting hit by this 18 wheeler, I just was really hoping I was not going to go over. Um, but I did. And when I did go over is when I lost hope. That was the most slowest drop ever. That was like a slow motion um, roller coaster ride. The jerk down was hard, but the elevation of me standing in the air was the longest. I was able to see the sky, the land, um, the water. And um, once I saw the water, I closed my eyes and I, I, I hit it pretty hard. It felt like concrete. I started to drown. Um, my car sunk faster than I thought it was. Um, my thought process at that time was panic. I was freaking out. Um, my seatbelt had locks on me and I couldn't move. I was flaring, flaring my arms up and down and um, I started to feel like my body was getting filled up with water and I didn't like that sensation and I wanted to fight. I didn't want to die that way. I felt it wasn't my fault. I didn't ask for this. I'm not gonna go out this way. And I immediately put, took my left hand, touched the side of the my driver's side window, had my left hand, my right hand pushed down really hard on the seatbelt. Eyes were still closed at this time and I'm just visualizing my car and exactly where everything is. And that's why my hands are a little scratched up because I grabbed the sides of my window where the glass was shattered and swam out. But in order to me to really make it to the top, I pushed off with my feet from the inside of where the glass or that window was to give me some momentum to get to the top. Because I, I really felt like I wasn't gonna make it. it I, I couldn't breathe. And um, by the time I got to the top, as soon as my lips hit the air, I just took a, a lot of deep breaths and um, wasn't still quite in shock. It was still had a lot of adrenaline and was still pumping. And I turned to my left and saw the rocks and I just swam to it as fast as I could. And from what I've been hearing, it's been 200 yards and it's been the length of a football field. And I didn't know that at the time. I just was trying to get to safety and save myself. And that's what I did. Um, I'm still in shock. I, I feel, I'm still in pain. I have my grandma walker here is what I call it. But um, I'm just blessed to be alive here. I'm just blessed that um, God gave me the strength to 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 be alive and to say that you're not going out this way and you you know you are you deserve to be on this earth and to change my mindset to um, panic to to calm so the pain and that's fine I'm, I'm I can deal with the pain I'm just glad that I can see another day today so I figured I I know that if I can survive that and also you know the crash the the riding against the wall the falling over the swimming that eventually I can go over the bridge. Baby steps, I'll have someone drive me first over the bridge. And then after that, I'll, I'll go for it myself.